performing meta analysis to generate forest plot and funnel plot in SPSS. The meta analysis technique is a statistical method that combines the results of two or more studies to estimate pooled effect size. So the method will systematically review and analyze data from studies to identify uh, common patterns and to draw a conclusion and to determine a pooled result or pooled uh, effect size. The uh, meta-analysis also uh, measures the variability among results through confidence interval, 95% confidence interval, and through homogeneity or heterogeneity test, which is uh, represented by an I square. Forest plot is a figure that displays results from meta-analysis. The forest plot have three sections in it, descriptive data, plot and statistical analysis. The funnel plot is a plot that represent or displays the variability of each individual studies against the standardized effect size. Here in this SPSS data view, I had inserted um, data for meta-analysis as shown here in the left column uh, a study is inserted there are 10 studies from study number one to study number 10 and a year of the study is uh, uh, inserted next to the study in the second column the number of participant or the sample size in each study next column is the mean for the study and the third one is the standard deviation so there are here for each study two groups treatment groups or experimental groups and a control group T for treatment C for uh, control so we have here from each study two groups and the total number of participant is given the mean for the uh, measured um, variable is given and the uh, standard deviation for the collected data is given so to perform meta-analysis in SPSS is to try to pull all this data together and determine the overall effect size and find out whether there is uh, less uh, heterogeneity between these studies. To do the meta-analysis in uh, SPSS click on analyze and then you need to use the uh, latest version of SPSS which is 28. The function for uh, meta-analysis is available on 28 version so if you click on meta-analysis as shown here there are several options depending on what outcome uh, the data have uh, either an continuous outcome or a binary outcome a continuous outcome when there is a scale and a variable is continuous and the mean is determined for each study so the data here is continuous and raw data will be uh, selected as the mean is given here however if the pre-calculated effect size is done then that options will be selected and if the data are binary or the outcome is binary uh, 
uh, uh, has two levels in it, such as uh, um, there is an odd ratios measured as odd ratios or hazard ratio, then the binary outcome selection for raw, raw data or pre-calculated effect size will be used in the current situation for this studies or these studies. We have a continuous variable that can select the raw data. A new window will appear and in that new window there are sections one section for treatment group or experimental group and another section for control group and a third section for study id and uh, effect size choices on the right hand size with the model whether to go for random or fixed effects so start filling and moving the data into the uh, designed or assigned box. So for the treatment group, sample size will be the N, which stand for the number uh, for treated, and then the mean move into the mean for the treated group and the standard deviation for the treated group, and then number for the control, number of cases, the mean for the um, control and the standard deviation for the control and move the study to the study ID uh, in uh, the box here. For the effect size, there are several options and usage whether to use the Cohen, Cohen's D or Higgs G or Glass Delta. I'm going to select the Higgs G and uh, take on adjusted standard error um, as our data here is continuous and hedges is a measure of uh, uh, effect size in fact it's a standardized effect size click on the criteria here will not do any changes and if we click on the icon for analysis no changes as we are not planning to do any subgrouping analysis. However, if we want to do a subgrouping analysis, then um, then that options can be selected. For inferences, no changes at this stage. For bias, no changes. For time and fill, no changes. And for print, this is an important part. So we'll select the homogeneity test heterogeneity measures which is i square and then effect size for individual studies and prediction and tick on the prediction interval under random um, effect as we had selected the random effect model here click on continue for the save no changes for the plot here we're going to generate two plots the forest plot and the funnel plot or the forest plot tick on the forest plot and in the display columns select the effect size the confidence interval limits the p-value and the weight and in the section for annotation tick on homogeneity heterogeneity and test for the section reference lines tick on overall effect size and null effect size and then this is for selecting the forest plot and drawing the forest plot now to draw the funnel plot again tick on the funnel plot here use the study id to label for the label box here so we have here two selected plots or graphs the forest plot and the funnel plot you could also draw the purple plot and galbreath plot we'll stick only with these two plot click on continue an output is generated as shown here we'll scroll down to the plots here the first plot is the forest plot and we just adjust this a little bit so we can see the whole uh, plot as much as we can or is it possible there are three section in the forest plot three sections the um, descriptive part the 
plot part and the statistical part. As shown here for the legend, blue square um, represent the effect size for each study and the diamond, green diamond, represent the pooled, the overall estimate of effect size. The blue dotted line is the line of no effect and the horizontal lines here are the 95% confidence interval limits, upper and lower limits for the effect size. So this is the effect size and the line here is the confidence interval. The red dotted line is the overall pooled effect size value as shown here given 0.72 and if we look at the diamond uh, shape here which is the overall effect size uh, has a, a horizontal line which is the estimate of overall confidence interval and as shown on the scale here the scales uh, can be minus or positive as we have here a continuous variable back again to the descriptive uh, um, output here as shown here in the left hand side is the ID or the study number and the year for the 10 studies and then next to it which is the hedge G which is the uh, effect size for each study and that's effect size is calculated by uh, performing um, uh, uh, mean difference or even standardized mean difference based on the pooled standard deviation. So the value here is the standardized effect size for each study. The next uh, values are the 95% confidence interval for the hedged value and um, then next to it is the p-value and as shown here for the first study there is a significant difference between the control and the treated and that's also as the p-value is less than 0.05 and this is backed up by also the 95 percent confidence interval as the effect size lays between this upper and lower uh, values for the confidence interval and uh, the sim similarly also for the second study there is no significant uh, between the treated and the uh, um, control uh, as the, the p-value is greater than 0.05 and the 95% confidence interval has crossed the zero, va zero value so there is no significant differences in the study number two uh, number three no significant number four and five no number six and six and seven no differences eight no significant difference nine and ten there is a difference the next uh, uh, data is the weight the weights represent that each study is weighted and the weight percentage represents or indicate the amount of influences uh, each individual study has on the overall size effect so the weight is a measure of the influence for each study as each study has its own size or number of participants and studies with higher weight have a higher sample size in the bottom section here the overall um, size effect standardized size effect or the hedges g value is given here as 0.72 and this uh, um, uh, value is significant as there is a p-value of less than 0.05 and this value also lay between the upper and the lower 95% confidence interval. So this is the pooled uh, overall estimate size which shows that uh, there is a difference between the control 
compared to the treatment. This meta-analysis proves that combining all this data, we could make a conclusion that there is a genuine difference um, when using the drug to treat a certain group uh, as given here the, by the pooled overall value. Looking at the next section in the graph, which is the forest plot, and as shown here, um, that um, uh, the blue squares represent the uh, um, effect size for each study, and larger squares reflect the um, uh, size of the samples or the study if the study have a, a higher number of participants then the square will be larger and the uh, confidence interval is represented by the horizontal line from the forest plot it is shown here that the pooled estimate size uh, for if size effect for the studies is 0.7 Looking at the third section here, which is the statistical analysis, as shown here, the model is a random effect model. And for heterogeneity, an I square is given, which is 0.19, and that is a very low, low value, which indicate that there is less variability among the studies and this is also double confirmed by the homogeneity tests which give a value of a p-value of less uh, of greater than 0.05 which means that they these studies have a homogeneity so this test will test the null hypothesis that uh, the data are uh, or the studies uh, the data from the studies are homogeneous, there is no variability, and the alternative hypothesis is that the uh, studies data are heterogeneous and it is not uh, homogeneous. So the p-value indicates uh, there is a homogeneity between the study and less variability. And uh, finally here, the uh, test for overall effect size using Z score as the data is uh, from each study is standardized to for comparison uh, using the hedged G, which is a standardized mean difference. And the p-value is less than 0 0.05, which is significant. So from this forest plot, it is possible to make a conclusion that there is a significant difference between treated group and um, control group based on the meta-analysis from 10 studies. Moving to the next plot, which is the funnel plot, which plots the um, effect size or the HG standardized effect size and the standard error as shown here, a shape of a funnel. The distribution of the effect size should be under the funnel and it should be equally or evenly distributed between the upper and lower uh, pooled uh, effect size, which is the hedge G size, which is equal here should be 0.72. So this funnel plot was also important in the uh, important part of meta-analysis as it will indicate the, whether there is a bias in the analysis. So this is the way to do meta-analysis in SPSS and generate a funnel and a forest plot.